Once again, Michigan finds itself in a marginal risk of severe weather for today, which is Friday, June 21st. We see the marginal risk extend all the way from the Tri-Cities, all the way through southeast Michigan, down toward Adrian, Monroe, Detroit, Pontiac, and Flint. Same exact story as what we've been tracking the past couple of days. The atmosphere today, humid, hot, a lot of moisture out there for these storms to produce microbursts. Microbursts in a way of damaging winds will be the main hazard today. There is currently no risk for hail or tornadoes in the state. We do not expect those. But again, we can get some stuff happening with boundary interaction and storm interaction and stuff like that. Main time frame again with these pop-up storms, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. is going to be your main time frame because we can't really depict exactly when and where pop-up storms are going to form. But we do have a couple models here we can go off of to get a better generalized idea of what we should look for. Uh, but here's your marginal risk here. Dark green is your severe risk. Light green around it is just general thunderstorms. So pay attention in and around that dark green area. But ac across the entire state, we still could get a storm or two. Diving into the model really quickly here. For today and this afternoon, we're going to see pop-up storms all across the state here, across central Michigan, southeast Michigan as well. And that's going to increase in coverage as the evening goes on between about 4, 5, 6, 7 p.m. Uh, and then that's going to clear the state and then some scattered showers left over. So, again, pretty similar story. Pop-ups are possible across the state, whether up in Mount Pleasant, whether up in Alpena, down in Adrian, Coldwater, Lansing. It doesn't matter. Severe risk, though, better ingredients coming together in eastern Michigan where that marginal risk exists. All right. 2 to 10 p.m. main time frame today. Damaging winds, your main threat. Now, we do have a day two risk as well. The SPC has went ahead and placed the entire state, minus exception of like Houghton and Monroe County, although you are close within that 25 mile radius of that marginal risk. So entire state risk for Saturday tomorrow. What are the hazards tomorrow? It looks a little bit, little bit more concerning in the way of all hazards in some areas. Looking at first and foremost, your wind probabilities here, you get entire state here within that wind probability. We do have a slight risk that extends just into the southern UP there, but it currently exists off to the uh, west across Lake Michigan into Wisconsin. Uh, but wind for the entire state is your primary hazard. Large hail shouldn't be too much of a concern. Uh, maybe up in the UP just a bit, um, perhaps northern lower, uh, depending on how this system plays out. Uh, but also the risk for a tornado or two is going to be there tomorrow especially in north central uh, lower Michigan by Gaylord, Roscommon, uh, north of Mount Pleasant, so like Ludington, Manistee, those areas, uh, Traverse City as well. Go ahead and dive into the model really quickly. We're not going to get too in-depth. We're going to have a briefing probably tonight regarding uh, tomorrow's risk. Uh, but again, that's severe weather depending. We could be live covering severe here in Michigan today. We'll see how that plays out. But uh, for the uh, time frame tomorrow and stuff, or yeah, for tomorrow and the radar potential, we're going to be looking at this line of storms right here. This is 7 p.m. Eastern time across Wisconsin tomorrow. That's what we're going to watch. It's going to push across the lake. How far that makes it if, it, if it can survive the trek across Lake Michigan, that will be the main uh, thing to watch there. If it does, it could arrive there in north central lower Michigan with uh, the threat for damaging winds and perhaps a spin-up tornado as well. The forecast soundings do show there's enough wind shear to get a spin-up tornado, as well as support a little bit more of a widespread, or maybe perhaps scattered would be a better word, uh, threat here for some damaging winds. So this can be something to watch here as we get into that Saturday night time frame. Uh, this model has it arriving roughly 8 p.m. Uh, on the western Mich or northwestern uh, lakeshore of Michigan. Uh, so after that 7 to 8 p.m. time frame and then onward into the evening, there's 11 p.m. It's going to weaken but clear the state here uh, on this model by roughly 1 to 2 a.m. So 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. is going to be your main time frame to start. We'll adjust that as needed. Uh, but this one for Saturday does catch our eye because more organized. There's better uh, forcing. Our slim shear lift instability moisture does look a bit better uh, overall across the state on Saturday. Uh, so just keep an eye on that. Uh, if we have any updates for you guys, we'll share that immediately. Uh, but right now, one day at a time, let's go, to go ahead and focus on today's risk here in southeast Michigan uh, for some damaging winds. Same exact story as the past couple of days. Uh, microbursts are possible. So that's all I got to share with you guys as the update. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button on your way out. Stay safe, stay cool, and stay hydrated in another day of exuberating heat.